Hello everyone and welcome back to Daedalus Plays Victoria 2 as Portugal. Let's get right to it. Alright. Now we just finished taking that one nation that I forget the name over here. What is it? Matabele. Yeah. Oh, I was considering getting more colonies over here in uh, Indonesia. Or in Spice Islands. Whatever this region would like to be called. Hmm, I have some great pops over here. Java, I guess. The, yeah, Java has some great pops, but the Netherlands owns it. We may get that in due time, I think. We will get Java in due time. I was thinking about going for Brunei, and then later on for Sulu, but that's protected by Spain. We can get we can get an alliance with Spain, perhaps. We are already very friendly with them. They sphered us, actually. Um, so yeah, we can probably do that. It would be f it would be perfectly fine, I think. Uh, let me get rid of these tariffs. Um, what else? This is okay. 100% education, perfect. 75, 40%. And yeah, we raised it, raised the tax a little bit on the rich, because they're not doing much right now. We need our middle class pops to upgrade into capitalists. We have no capitalists yet, but they'll come in due time after we get up enough factories and all that stuff. We already built, yeah, we already started building up our factories. I think we do need to get some more naval bases. Oh yeah, over here, Lower Guinea does not have a naval base. That needs to be fixed. Angola does not have a naval base. Neither does South Angola. Okay, let's fix that. Anywhere else. Okay. Timor does not have a naval base. Neither does it have a railroads. So we're going to fix that. Mm. Can get more railroads over here. There we go. Perfect. Railroad and no money. Okay, that's fine. Then we're going to probably start building more uh, forts over here in the homeland. It's turning up all the way up to speed 5 because nothing is happening right now. <clears throat> oh, baby, our empire. Oh, it's so sad to see all these things go. These used to be ours. Like I said, I may end up... Uh, uh, here comes liberal agitation. Unfortunate, but... Well, it's not totally unfortunate, you know, because we do need... We do need some more consciousness so I can pass these pass some reforms. I do want to get rid of uh, slavery as soon as possible. We're gonna keep improving our relations with Prussia because I want to get an alliance with Prussia sometime soon. They are pretty much the best ally you can have if you're a small nation in Europe. Unless you're a German miner in which case uh, well you're gonna get annexed and the, it'll be game over. <laughs> so maybe you want to find a way to get rid of uh, 20 liberal, 10 liberal. I have no problem with putting more liberals in power. Since the liberals will allow us to probably get more reforms, it would also allow... Uh, and, they, and, they, and they have some pretty decent uh, uh, traits. They're pro-military, they have residency, uh, they, they, allow for, they allow for free trade. Free trade isn't like super super good, but I don't I don't expect to rely upon tariffs for too too long. And all the factions rely on free trade anyways, but they do have interventionism. They do not have lazy fare, <laughs> or laissez faire if you want to be correct about it. But I prefer to just call it lazy fare because your country just goes fucking bankrupt in the early game if you allow uh, laissez faire. Or it doesn't go bankrupt. It's just really hard to get your economy up and running if you have less of fire. Because you can't subsidize your factories, you can't upgrade your factories, you can't build any factories, you have to rely upon the capitalists, and a lot of the time they just build really, really suboptimal piece of shit factories, and it's just like, oh, why? Like, they'll build a, a steel mill in a, in, a, in a region that has almost no pops. That was the clear war commented. Alright. Like they'll declare, uh, they'll they'll build a steel mill in a in a place that has almost no population, and only grain or wool or some other like stupid, argio for example. And they'll build the most inane fucking factories. Hmm. How did I think about it? 
Braz Brazil, <laughs> Portugal did have this Tetuan, which I think was to be called Suta. We might want to go for a Reconquista over here and grab some Moroccan core, some Moroccan stuff before the Spains get their grubby little hands all over it. Fez, Fez, Fez. This is Moroccan Al Arif. Hmm. Now maybe. Hmm. I was thinking about waiting to get enough, burn through enough infamy to be able to take... Oh, there we go. Sarawak is now protected by the UK. Hmm. Shit. Well, we are, un we are allied with the UK. I was thinking about doing, uh, waiting until we can get enough infamy room so we can get Sarawak, what used to be Brunei, and then Sulu. Hmm. That would be better in the long run. How much? What's your population like, Morocco, over here? Tangier, three thousand. Ugh, twenty thousand, twenty-eight. It's pretty. It's pretty mediocre. That's some grain. We are importing grain. We could use that grain. We don't have that many people working those RGOs, probably. So that grain is pretty much inaccessible. Uh, Marrakesh, Fez will be better because it has more population, but it's still crap. I I'm gonna wait. I, I would rather grab. Uh, I know, even though this region doesn't exactly have a lot of pop, anyways, but I would much rather pref to get it right now because it does have oil in the future, and if we're able to get a hold of that oil, things would be much, much better for us. Johor is good for income because they have a lot of precious metals. But we already have a lot of uh, precious metals. I'm not, I wouldn't really be too hot about getting more precious metals than we already have. Our income is not superb, but for a small nation, we're doing fairly well. I would really like to have Sarawak before the Netherlands grabs their hands on it, or England. So we're going to get, we're going to keep good relations with Britain. And wait until our infamy burns down so that we can uh, declare war for uh, an established protectorate in Sarawak. Not Sulu, I guess, because the Sp we're not allies with Spain. We will be able to ally with Spain soon enough. Or rather, Spain will be able to do jack, jack and shit because they will most likely fall in status. Oh shit, we're no longer a secondary power. God damn. But uh, that was as I was saying. This Prussia goes bankrupt. Really? Are you at war? They're not even at war with anyone. What the hell, Prussia? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing wrong, man? Come on, give me a break. Oh wow. Uh, as I was saying before, Prussia went bankrupt. Spain usually falls in power. So we are. I don't need to worry too much about Spain. We can just outright declare war on Sulu after they fall down in status. And maybe after the Philippines rebel, even seize the Philippines from them. That would be really good if we seized the Philippines. It would be like good, good. It has a lot of pop. So, not a lot, a lot, but 200,000 and 152,000 over here. It's pretty decent. It's not as good as Canton. Conquest of Sikh. Yeah, I, I think I talked about this in the last video. I tried paying as the Sikh Empire to record it. That is one of the reasons why I didn't have a good time uh, playing as the Sikh Empire. Because you get uh, bulldozed by Britain right off the bat. It's really, it's really disencouraging. It makes you, it, ma it made me like a, a little bit mad. Not mad mad, I was a bit disappointed. Cause it's just I, I couldn't I couldn't uh, deal with it. Yeah, I was just immediately get bulldozed by by Britain, and then your economy is constantly in a spiral of death, and you can't recruit any more soldiers. Uh, they don't reinforce. You can't expand. You can't conquer anyone. You can't do jack and shit combined. So I decided against it. Instead, I'm doing Portugal. So. I hope you guys enjoy my Portugal campaign. France wants access. Where are these crazy Frenchmen after now? They're at war with Prussia, UK, Netherlands. What is this? 
Oh, the Franco-Prussian War. Okay, what is this about? I didn't see it. Cut France down to size. Uh, go for it, man. Cut the... Please don't go bankrupt again, I beg you. Please. I wish you would not go bankrupt. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, oh, great. I, I, universal voting, I'm okay with that. I want I, anything that will allow me to get uh, more reforms is uh, a good idea in my book. So we're still burning through our infamy. We need to get down to at least nine because the established protectorate CB is worth. Moldova acquires Bessarabia. Okay. We got our prestige tech. Let us now get. Uh, what should we get? Market structure, probably. Yeah, let's get market structure. Market structure is really good. It's really good to get that early on. I think we're going for early railroad then. I, I really like to get railroads early on. That allows you to get more out of your RGOs. It gives you more factory efficiency. Oh, damn. And the more efficient your factory are, the, are the better. And there is the French Navy getting blown the fuck out. Goodbye, French Navy. It was nice knowing you. Uh, maybe getting good relation, getting good relations with the two Sicilies as well. They w they usually form. It's either Sardinia, Piedmont, or the two Sicilies that form Italy. Most of the times, I think it's the two Sicilies because they're the most po powerful. They have the most pops. They have the most um, industry. For a good reason. I mean, look at that. They have a lot of sulfur, which is a terrifically good uh, industrial good to have. And they have a lot of it. They really have a lot of sulfur. And that's really good for producing um, fertilizer, which is extremely good. Those Your fertilizer factories usually go rather fast. And also your... Um, Explosives factory also are allowed to grow very fast when you have a fertilizer factory with that amount of sulfur available. Uh, oh yeah, we are in f favor of free trade. Yeah, go ahead. Free trade. Our consciousness is going up, which is very good. I usually would I usually would not be so so glad about having a such high consciousness, but I mean, come on, it's. Uh, I could really use the consciousness right now. Oh yeah, that, that event happened. I, I, I had the the game crashed when I was like five minutes into the <laughs> into the save. And let's get an alliance with Spain instead. Onward to tomorrow. A celebration in Lisbon took place this month, a somber affair following the death of a prominent politician. This was a celebration of the Portuguese way, order, industry, and productivity. Search where the virtues of this watch this man believe in. It is the belief that share of the Portuguese people. Oh, free research points. Oh, here we go. Freedom of war. There we go. Get rid of slavery right now. Uh, no. Get rid of slavery right the fuck now, son. Uh, free trade. Mm. We're already lo we're already burning through a lot of. Uh... Oh no, we still have plenty of slaves. We just don't have slaves in. Uh... Wow, Mozambique is twenty five percent slaves. Yeah, these are all people that are not working as well as they should and not being taxed. So uh, s the sooner we liberate them, the better. Free trade, free trade, free trade, free trade, free trade, free trade, free trade. Liberals have won. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, that's something that you don't hear from me often. The liberals have won, yay! In this case, yes, I, I, I like that the liberals win because they're alright and they will allow us to get more reforms. The Ottomans are back to me a great power, alright. Uh, they lost it to the Netherlands, I guess. Yeah, the Netherlands uh, lost status. Spain is about to lose status. Good, good. Let's get uh, railroads. Liberal agitation. That's okay. That's one and one of the another situation where I'm totally okay with liberal agitation. There we go. Outlawed slavery. Perfect. Now all of our pops that used to be slaves are now going to be working for us. And we gained a little bit of income. See, look at that. I think an extra what twenty pounds a month, a day rather. 
that's pretty decent. Because, because we got rid of our slaves. See, I told you, man, you should get rid. If you have a, a nation that starts off with slaves, like get rid of them right away because they're they're a fucking annoyance. They're a fucking annoying. Three militancy, preserve support, liberal and five consciousness. Okay, more consciousness, please. Agitation dies down. No, give me more consciousness. More agitation, and our infamy is okay. Ooh, okay, we are not allied with Britain anymore. So, and to be honest, I would prefer to get Sulu because I'm fairly certain that these Api is the one that has oil. So, let's get. It's only a two. It's only two provinces, but are you fucking kidding me? Sulu is that two different things? Where else do they hold hold territory? Excuse me. Where is your... What? Demand concession. This is one. Where are your other territories? This is the Tador Sultanate. Lanfang. I don't see where their other territory is. This is ours. This is the Tador Sultanate. This is Java. Where the hell is your other territory? Ah, doesn't matter. I want Sabah. Good, it'll be less infamy than I thought it would be. And let's hope we don't get detected right away like we did last time. Oh. I, I knew it. I jinxed myself. I fucked it up. God damn it. <laughs> fucked up. Uh, let's get our boys in the, on those ships. Let's get our uh, funding up. A little bit. Eh... I really don't like how, uh, maybe I'll up the military spending just a little bit temporarily, like 75%, just so uh, we have, people have more incentive to become, um, uh, soldiers. There will be a lot more officers joining the ranks as well, but it says, uh, we, we, we don't, we, we really don't. We really could use a little bit more officers. We have 0.2% is optimal. We only have uh, 0.1. Now, that, and immediately as I raise the budget, they already start pouring in. There we go. Already raised 0.01%. I could, I'm, I'm totally okay with some uh, more extra officers joining the ranks. I'm perfectly fine with that. There we go, point zero. Uh, it's some other five percent more liberal, more consciousness. Perfect. All right, we can get more reforms, and right now we are going to get more trade unions. So to make it easier for us to get um, social reforms, we have gained our casus belli or belly. I don't know what's the correct way to pronounce that. I don't speak Latin. Netherlands was an alliance. Uh, sure. It'll make us easier to actually take these things over here because they won't interfere with us because they're, they're allies. What? The country is in the same sphere of. Ah, oh, poop ass. Come on, Spain. Fall, in, fall out of power. Portuguese Mozambique. Oh, good. We get a flea, free CB. Flea. Free CB on uh, Gaza. Perfect. Demand concession. Oh, it's only a demand concession. I thought it would be a free... I guess the, it would be too much to ask to get a free established protectorate CB on those assholes. But I would certainly like that. Ooh, what shall we grab then? Since we can't yet declare war on uh, Sulu. And I may have been just a fucking idiot because I totally forgot about n not being able to declare war on... Uh, a nation that's in the same sphere of influence as you because I'm dumb. Uh, but Spain will fall out of power, great power status soon. Actually, I might want to set that, set that as a message. When someone loses the great power status, yes, please give me a pop up. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That should allow us to know when that happens. So, what do we want from you? Ooh, oh, that's your capital. Poop. Nguni Zambezia. Hmm. Zambezia, perhaps? 
What's the what's the largest chunk of land? We can't get Lorenzo Marcus because that's your capital province. Unfortunate. Uh, maybe Tete or Zambezia. 37, 37. So Fala has more pop and also has tobacco. Hmm. We do need more grain. But this has more pop. So it's not a tough choice per se because they're both kind of mediocre provinces. But it's a free CB. So I can't really complain. We can get a third one too. What's the. What's the. Taki Gariep. 8,000. Ugh. No, no thank you. I'm not gonna get your funny funny named province, you sack of shit. Who are you allied to? Swazi and all these crappy z nations that used to be Zulu, I guess. So what do we want? Probably Zen Sofala for the extra port. Yeah. We're gonna get Sofala. The <laughs> Zulu immediately declared war on them. <laughs> you go, you go for it, Zulu. Okay, are those your cores, actually? Zulu, where are you, Zulu? Yeah, you have a core that belongs to them. Yeah, they're sieging our crap, but so what? Shosa wants uh, access. Blockade them, because why not? Speed things up. Next thing that we should be getting, I might want to also start um, getting some reform like to, to s end the child labor because that allows you to... Um, let's get the railroad over here. That allows you to get education efficiency up. Oh, there we go. Speaking of which... Yeah, education child labor legal is minus 20%. It also increases a lot of your output, so I'm gonna get ri get restricted child labor, and then I'm gonna beeline for all allowed trade unions. Please, Zulu, stop giving me attrition. I beg you. I implore you, Zulu, stop, 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 please. Let's get one Guni infantry in Mosega. I've been wanting to get that one. Gaza. I'm not gonna bother. Oh yeah, we can't get an extra port because <laughs> we already have one over here. Nah, doesn't matter. We'll be able to fully annex them uh, soon enough. We don't have room for infamy. Oh, great. Uh, another one of those. You sit here and quell a man. Uh, let's turn down. Turn down for what? No, turn down the budget, please. There we go. Turn down for what? The budget. Please. Proto existentialism. How are we doing with our leadership? Point one. I'll turn. I'll turn the funding down once it gets up to like 0.2 percent uh, officers. All right. We got early roads. Perfect. Uh, do I want to get more prestige or positive? I guess I'll get positivism. I do need more education. Oh, our intellectuals up there are up to four percent. It doesn't really. M What's this? Create state. We can create a state over there? Portuguese what? Which one? What, what was that? Portuguese Canton. Oh, we can make it, make it into a state. Huh. Really? That's very interesting. Already? 400 colonial power points. Holy shit. Get all the goods over there. We might want to just. Mm -hmm. It's such a tough choice. There's so many good things to snag. I can't grab Sulu yet because I'm I'm retarded and thought that I would be able to do that. Uh, if we go for some of Dainam, or we could just outright grab uh, Canton. It would be very hard though, we don't have that much military in the first place, though it will be kind of easy to get. I want to get more military tech first. Um, they have 239 brigade. yeah, they have military tech zero, but 11, 11 brigades, some of them undermanned against 200 Chinese, zero 200 screaming Chinese, it's, uh, 
It's, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Maybe Dynam could be a good idea, because they would allow us to get more pop. However, I would like to wait until we can... Cochin, China, that, though, is a really good state. Saigon has a lot of pop. Has some decent goods. They're not terrific. But it will allow us to get more presence over here. Hmm. It will only be seven and a half infamy. And the French usually snag this region too, so... We might want to go for that, actually. I might, I'm gonna go for a Dynam. I'm gonna get demand concession for a Dynam. There we go. I, 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 I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let's stake our troops over there. And uh, we have access through Spain. No. Netherlands is our ally, so let me get military access for the Netherlands. And uh, the Armada will go and park themselves over here in Palak Penang. Romania, okay. We already are 200 relations with these dickbags. Keep getting relations up with uh, Prussia. Oh yes, a reform. Can't forget about that. Non-socialist allowed, there we go. Neocontin idealism, more prestige. 2.4 infamy, Ugh. not too bad. I would prefer not to have any infamy from that crap. Voters' right movements and the suffrage movement, I'm okay with that. That was quick, already have RCB. Is that Russia? Yeah, one heavy ship. Good for you, I guess. All right. We can, we are so we are such a strong nation we can fund our military a hundred percent ha ha despite the fact that all we have are these guys oh boy I want to get more uh, I need more craftsmen but I would like to get a little bit more soldiers first in those places just so we can reinforce these be a little bit easier to reinforce these, uh, these regiments. I, that I'll be very happy if I was able to reinforce my regiments. That would be good. So we're gonna delay the craftsmen a little bit. Demand concession, coach in China. Uh, I'm not gonna call my allies because I think then the Netherlands or Spain would, uh, especially Spain, they would take leadership because they have much stronger military power. And then they'll probably want to get greedy and, uh... Oh wow, I, I spit accidentally. That was kind of weird. And, uh... They'll get greedy and probably want to take the provinces from... Uh... Dainam, and I don't really want that. I want that to be my own little paradise over here in Dainam. Yeah, that's mine. Against Afghanistan. Yeah, that's what reason I tried. I tried playing as Afghanistan as well. And one time, uh, like the, the the empire that really rammed me in the ass was uh, the Russia. And looks like this time it's going to be Britain. It, it's really hard to play those nations. You get destroyed like on every front. You you get fucked. On every front you get destroyed. If it's not by Britain, it's by Russia. And if it's not by Russia, it's by Britain. Always somebody wanting to fuck with you. And I guess after positivism, I'm gonna get uh, army professionalism for the more extra morale and extra tactics. Ludite mob. Uh, I'll get at the policy changes. Yeah, coaching China is good. Oh, good, more reforms. Um, all allowed. There we go. Perfect. Send in the troops. You, get out of there, son. Go blockade over here. Is this Cambodia? Yep. Get out of there, Cambodia. You can't have that. Can't have it. United Kingdom declared war. Really, they occupied Macau? 
Okay, that's an interesting choice. All right, we're done with our um, we're done with our intellectuals. Who occupied this? Burma. <laughs> okay, interesting. Hatsian. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Hatsian. I don't know if you have the tss. Like you have a lot of the times, like you have a Chinese name, like that, or like the people sometimes say the King Empire, but it's it's, it's actually Qing. The Q, the way it's represented in the what uh, the the writing the the Latinized writing system. Yeah, it's kind of strange how they do that. I wish they would make it easier for Westerners. They would actually or use a different transliteration system that will make it easier for people to pronounce it. Oh lord, I shouldn't have attacked. Yep, that was a bad idea to attack. Especially with those undermanned troops. Pinyin, that's what it's called. The, the transliteration system. I think that's, that's what we call it. Because it's not a... Or maybe it's called a transcription system. I don't know. Oh yeah, I mean, let me check the timer. Okay, we are right on time. Uh, before I wanted to stop this before I go on a perpetual ramble about Pinyin and what little I know about it. So anyways, thank you very much for joining me, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. And do remember to leave a like and subscribe if you like this. It helps me a lot. It helps the channel to expand and all that. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.